Assalamu alaikum. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Are you ready for the lesson? To begin this lesson, I'm going to tell you a picture story. The story's name is Lost at the Park. Let's start. This is Azna and her mother. One day they went to the park. When they reached the park, Azna started playing. After some time, she saw a kite fly nearby and she tried to catch it. When she realized that she went too far, it was too late. She could not find her mother. She started walking slowly, thinking of all the directions. Then she saw a map key that says fish pond. She turned towards south, hoping to see an adult. She remembered the map pasted near the entrance, but could not find the gate. After a while, she saw a security guard coming towards her. I'm lost, she said. The guard turned south and then known there was her mother standing near the playing area. Asnam, there you are, her mother called. Asnam was so happy to see her mother. By listening and looking at these pictures, now you must have guessed the topic of today's, right? Yes, today's topic is maps and globes. Let's see the learning intention and the success criteria. Learning intention. We are learning to locate and identify the important places on maps and globes. Success criteria. We will be successful if we can identify difference between a map and a globe, label the cardinal directions of the map and globe, create a map of a journey from one point to another point of school or an island. First of all, let's see what is a map and what is a globe. A map is a flat drawing of a place or part of the world. Now here is a map that I have drawn. A neighborhood map. There will be school, hospital, uh, the roads, main road, supermarkets. Yes. And um, there are many other types of map as well. For example, zoo map, city map, world map, bedroom map, park map, map and more. Now the difference between a map and a globe is, map is easy to carry anywhere that you want. Now here I can fold this and put it in my folder and then carry, right? Globe is a map of the world in the shape of a ball. It is round and three-dimensional. The map is flat, square and two-dimensional. But the globe is round and two-dimensional. The globe is used to locate the areas from bigger places. But the map is used to locate and find places from smaller areas. Globe is a map of the world in the shape of a bowl. It is round and three-dimensional unlike the map. Now here is a small globe. This part of the globe is called a North Pole and the bottom, this part is called a South Pole. These two places are extremely cold with no trees. Now have you ever wondered why the globe is filled with blue and green? Yes, it is because of the amount of water present in the earth. 70% of the earth is covered with water or ocean and the other parts are land or continents. There are 7 continents in the world. And the biggest continent is Asia. The smallest continent is the Australia. These continents are divided into countries. 
and there are 200 countries in the world do you know the amount of oceans in the world yes you are correct there are five oceans in the world and Maldives is located in the Indian Ocean here from the globe you can see the Indian Ocean and here I have circled Maldives and it is located in the Indian Ocean across the equator this line is called the equator in this modern world you can search the Google map and Google art with the help of your parents Google Earth is a virtual globe that you can view the Earth through graphics and satellite images. Now you can see a world map. In there, there is Greenland, Alaska, Canada, United States of America, China, Russia, Australia and many other countries. And here is a map, part of a map of Maldives. There is Alif, Alif Atoll, Kaf Atoll, Dal Atoll, Meme Atoll, and Thar Atoll, Ba Atoll, and Lam Atoll. Now let's see, from this globe you can see the North Pole, South Pole, uh, Ar Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, Tropic of Capricorn, Antarctic Circle, right? And Equator is in the middle. Now let's see the similarities and the differences between North Pole and South Pole. First let's see North Pole. It is surrounded by water, frozen solid in winter, broken up ice in summer. In winter there will be um, ice and in summer the it will broke up. And in opposite season of South Pole other side of earth from south pole and in south pole it is land continent of antarctica it has mountains valleys and plains it is the opposite season of north pole the other side of earth from north pole in both north pole and south pole it is extremely cold and dry climate icy and snowy with little food and no trees now we should all know the reason why we are studying about maps and globes right so how does maps and globes help us there are three ways first one is yes to find our way i think you you are familiar with the cartoon, the Dora, Dora the Explorer? Yes, in, the, in that cartoon, Dora always get help from the map to find the place. She asks for the map. The second one is show where things or places located. Show how far one place is from another. So how many um, reasons are there? Three reasons, right? How does maps and globe help us? Yes. Now let's see the parts of a map. You are going to learn two parts. That is compass rose and legend or map key. Compass rose is a figure on a map that displays the direction here is a compass rose you can see n that represents north e is for east s for south and w represents west these are also called cardinal directions and if you find it difficult, you can always uh, read like this. Never eat soggy wafers. That is, ne in never end stands for north. Eat, east stands for east. 
So in Sogi is stand for south, Wafers W stands for west. Well done. Now let's label the cardinal directions. Can you do it? It's easy, isn't it? The top part is N, that is north. And then east, south, and the west. Clever. Now let's do a fun activity. In this activity, you are going to do the actions that I'm I tell. Okay. Before doing this, it will be easy to you if you know the directions north, east, west, and south. Let's begin. Okay, point your finger toward south. Go and touch something which is in the north side of your home. Run towards north. Take one step towards west. Point your finger towards east. Bend towards north. Turn and jump once toward, towards south. Did you enjoy this activity? I'm sure you will. You did well. Now let's see the legend. What is a legend? It is map key. It explains what the symbols on the map stands for. Let's see an example. Okay, here on the right side there is the map and on top it is the map key. There is a bed, bookcase, chair, desk, door, lamp, rug, table, window. So by looking at this map, what do you think? What type of map, map is this? Yes, it is a bedroom map. And what type of map is this? You can see the key is tree, bench, slide, seesaw, sandbox, swings, flower garden, duck pond. Yes, that's correct. This is a park map. Now let's do an activity. In this activity you are going to answer with me. I am going to show a map and then let's answer this. First one is label north, south, west and east on the compass rose. You can see the compass rose and then it's label. Okay. What is the broken line? The broken line shows the road. That's very good. Now, where is the park located? The park is located on the west of the railroad. Where to go? Now, how many houses are there on south of the road? There are two houses on the south of the road. The last question, where is the supermarket located on the compass of the road? Yes, of course. The supermarket is located on the north of the compass road. Now, to get more information about the maps and globes, let's see a video. yet not yet are we there yet 
Not yet. Are we there yet? Are we lost? No. Well, yes, we are lost. I knew it. What is that? This is a map. Oh, I've seen that at school. No, that is a globe. What's the difference? Well, a globe is a three-dimensional presentation of the entire world, so you can see where the continents are. You can also point a flashlight at a globe and see which continent or country is in nighttime and which continent or country is in daytime. You can also simulate a flight from one place to another place through different routes and show that our Earth is round. You can rotate the globe and see the continents of the world. Here you can see North America and South America. This is Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. A globe can be called as a duplicate Earth. It is round in shape and shows more accurate areas, distances, directions, and relative shape and size. Then what's a map? A map gives a two-dimensional presentation of certain regions in the world. And you can see this map is in mommy's hand it is easier to use and portable. I can easily put this map in my purse and bring it wherever I want. There are many kinds of maps. This is a world map, which shows the continents and countries in the world. This is our city map, which shows the roads, parks, and public places. See? That's your school. And our house is here. With this map, we know how to get to school from our house. Wow, that's really helpful. And this is the park map. It shows where the play areas are, the walking paths, and the bathrooms. Wow, that's really helpful. And what's this? This is a compass rose. It's used to display the orientation of the directions. N is for north, S is for south, E is for east, and W is for west. And what are these symbols? This is the map key. It helps us identify what's on the map. This way, we can find what we're looking for. Let's look at this park map. This is where the bathrooms are. This is where the pond is. This is where the playground is. This way, we don't get lost. Why don't you tell me what these are? It's a city map. A zoo map. Next time, I will ask for a zoo map so I could go see the penguins. A theme park map. Hey, I remember that merry-go-round. I loved it. That's a globe. It's United States map. Can you teach me how to make a map? Of course. First, why don't you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our future educational videos. I will teach you how to make a map of your room. 
First, go get a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. Now, locate where your door is and draw this. Next, let's draw your bed, your desk, and your toy box. Ta-da! That's your first map. Wow! My first map! This is fun! Why don't you make a map of your room, too? Maybe a map of your house as well. What did you see from the video? Yes, you know the difference between a map and a globe? And there are many types of maps. Why do you use a map? And also, how to create a simple map? That's correct. Now let's do the activity 2. In here you have to create a map of your island. Show the important place of the island such as home, mosque, school, office, harbor and many places you can include. These are the things that you can include in the map. Use specific symbols for these places. The symbols such as this is a, an example you can use in some islands. There will be uh, airport. For the airport, you can use an airplane. There will be parks in the island. So for the park, you can use flowers or trees. Of course, sea will be in every island. So you can include a sea uh, like this or you can create your own sea and houses. Something like this for the houses. Or else you can create a, of a map of your classroom. Show the important places and things of the classroom such as teacher's table, desk, chairs, doors, reading corner, prayer corner, play area, cupboard, shelves and more if you have. Use specific symbols for these places and also you need to label the cardinal directions that is north, south, east and west. Now here is one example that I have uh, created a classroom map. You can see there are teachers table, prayer corner, the desk tables chairs you can create more beautifully than this one instead of using color papers you can use different materials like small blocks seeds flowers leaves and let's uh, create a simple map and I'll give you two minutes to do this you can draw it in a piece of paper no need to uh, cut and paste in this time you can do that in your own free time now let's reflect identify the differences between a map and a globe like I said a map is flat and it is two dimensional it is easy to carry to places the globe is round three dimensional it is used to locate the places from bigger places and label the cardinal directions of the map or globe that is north south west and east those are the cardinal directions and create a map of a journey from one point to another point of school or island you just did it so today you did a good job so you deserve a page thank you
thank you for listening and participation participating i hope you enjoyed today's lesson hope to see you soon bye